This is the J and Ed Variety Show, episode 9.21. Are you a little taller today? Wish I was a baller. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat. Isn't that the line from that song? I don't know. Anywho. Anywho. Hi. Hi. You go first. I got nothing. Well, let's just do this. Friday, Chick-fil-A. For those of you in high school. Do you want to cancel that thing? I do want to cancel that thing. Let's just roll the, this weekend for high school. This weekend. Uh, Friday, Chick-fil-A. Come over after school. Beyond Biak. Riff stick following. Whoa. Uh, and then Saturday was to be G night. We're going to postpone that to April. And uh, I'm working on, I'm going to put the title out there. Yeah. We're going to call it a mystery night. Ooh. It's like warm up to the mystery trip. Ooh. Come here. Bring a friend and have no idea what happens after that. Mystery night. Mystery night. So that'll be in April. We'll get details out about that for sure next week when I can firm up the mystery. Very exciting. Very exciting. Hey, what do you got? I have this. Woo! Hilly Billy in Lab! It's really just supposed to be called Hillbilly, but I wrote Hilly Billy. And that was my favorite thing in a while. Didn't catch the, the typo until after I printed all of them. Whoops. Hilly Billy Alive! If you are able to come, and if you're not, make it so that you are. Yeah. June 15th through 18th, we're going to Austin Lake Park. It's a gigantic lake with all sorts of different watercraft, women craft, pedal craft, hammock craft, land tubing. Land tubing? There's a tube on the land. Really? Yep. All of that good stuff. <laughs> It's amazing. Land tubing. It's amazing the number of things this place has. You definitely want to be here June 15th through 18th. The cost is only $75. There's no reason. That's ridiculous. To not come. That's ridiculous. You have to come. Under $100. The only reason to not come is if you're a Peters student. And even then. <laughs> and even just then. Just skip. Just figure something out. But. Don't forget. The deadline is April 1st. And that's, that's no fooling. Fool which is only like three weeks away. Yeah, wow. So, this is like... Priority one. Muchacho important. Don't forget, Hammock Village. Hammock Village, where, where the sun, sun always shines. shines. Also this summer, July 18 through 22, if you're in 7th or 8th grade, we have a mission thing just for you. We're partnering up with Bethany Church. We're going to be serving the homeless population of Pittsburgh, again, an entire week for only $75. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Also, I can't remember the name of the city now. We Bryn know. Athen. Bryn Athen. Commit it to memory because that's where we're going for the high school Woo! mission trip. Uh, the dates are, boy, we plan ahead for it's this show. It's right before August. Yeah, July 30th through August 6th. Six. Six? I think that's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Bryn Athen, the information for that will be coming out shortly, but I know that's going to fill up quick because a lot of you guys love the group mission. And that's a limited number of uh, yeah. uh, spaces. Yeah, so yeah. Sign up soon. space is limited, so we will get those. That probably will be out tonight or tomorrow, or tomorrow, tonight or next week. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. So be ready for it. Bryn Athen. Well, with all of these retreats and events that we have coming up, we thought it would be <laughs> wise of us to help better inform you. Yeah. Public service announcement. Exactly. By bringing you five easy steps. Five? Let's go with five. Let's go with five. That's <laughs> five. <laughs> five easy steps mm -hmm. to packing for a Veritas retreat. Take a look. Hi, and welcome to five easy steps to packing for a Veritas retreat. Thanks for joining us today. Let's start off in probably the best place to start with step one. Step one is maybe one of the more complicated choices and that you're going to have to make, and that is to make your style choices. Now, making style choices are, of course, going to be different depending on the type of the retreat and the type of the mood that you want to put off. Is a cute boy or a cute girl going? Well, then don't forget to pack the Axe spray, the deodorant, and all the perfume that you can imagine. Also, you're going to want to consider the clothes that you're wearing. I like to pack, you know, my clothes that, you know, I'll pack another one of these, why not? My Veritas shirts. I like to have things that are applicable for what we'll be working on. I like the things we're doing. If we're going to be in active retreat, I like to have active clothes. If it's going to be cold, maybe you want to pack something warm and furry. And you know what? Something that's maybe just a little bit standout-ish. You want a little bit of pop and flare. 
maybe some bold style patterns would be a wise choice as well. As you're packing each of these items, keep in mind, you're going to want things that you can get muddy, that you can get dirty, that you can get covered in paint, sweat, and blood, all of which are likely to occur on any Veritas event. So style choices aren't the only choices you're going to be making. You're also going to want to make wise snack choices. The first tip that I can give you is pack things that are easily to travel with. For instance, any sort of chip, cheese, it's something that comes in a little bag, easy to travel with, delicious, make sure you pack them towards the top of the bag so they don't get crushed. All that stuff, goldfish, they make great snacks. Candy bars, I'll tell you, candy bars are one of the easiest. They're a crowd pleaser, they travel well, everyone loves them, they're great to share. For instance, one for you, one for your friend, one for that girl you like. See, everyone loves them, everyone can share them, but everyone brings that kind of stuff. So you're going to want to bring some things with a little more pop, a little more pizzazz. You're going to want to stand out from the crowd. So how about some freeze pops? Not everyone's going to have freeze pops. This is going to make you a hot commodity. If everyone has Snickers, you're not going to be able to trade. If you're the only person with freeze pops, these val the value of these just went up at least tenfold. Speaking of pop and pizzazz, some rainbow sherbet. People are going to spot you from across the room if you have rainbow sherbet. You also want to think about the entire day. What do you want in the morning? Going to have a little bit of coffee? How about bringing some coffee? Make creamer. In the evening, maybe you bought a plate of nachos that you didn't finish for lunch, but you know what? You're still hungry for them. How about some mild shredded cheese? Now, while we're um, slightly off topic, I want to bring it back to the topic of sharing. You're going to want to bring plenty of the snacks that you decide. So don't feel free to go a little, don't, don't feel bad about going a little overboard. Just anything you have at home, just dump it all in there. You're going to want to share. You're going to want to have the amount that you need plus whatever your friends are going to steal. So be sure to pack plenty. Step three is a really important one. And step three is that you're going to want to pack only the essentials. Now this is a courtesy to the other students that are on the trip, the leaders, and the reason it's a courtesy to all of us is we have a limited amount of space on the bus and in the vehicles we travel with, so you're going to want to make sure that in your packing that you have only the essential items. So, you know, you're going to want just one or two small, normal-sized bags. You don't want it to be something that is huge and, you know, you're not able to fit it on the bus. So as you're packing, just take a look around your room and ask yourself, what are the things that I'm really going to need? Do I really need four shirts for an, a one overnighter? Am I really going to need to wear this nightgown or this dress as I travel to, you know, Laurelville Mud Weekend? Whatever it might be, just make sure that you're really packing only the essentials. For a fourth rule, you're going to want to rely on the generosity of others. And here's what I mean. Sometimes when you refer to the packing list, you may not have everything on the packing list, or you simply may forget one of the items. In that case, it's best to rely on the generosity of others and hope that someone else on the retreat may have something that could help you out. Uh, hey, Ed. It's a little awkward, but, uh... Hey, not a problem. I, I left quick today, and I, I forgot to pack, you know, shirts. You know what? We were just talking about that. Yeah. I have an extra one for you. Wow. Thanks, man. You're welcome. You're so generous. Well, it's good to rely on that sometimes. But, a quick reminder. If you're going to rely on the generosity of others, you may not always get exactly what you're looking for. The toothpaste may not be the flavor that you like. You may end up using a pink towel even if you're a guy, but that's okay. Remember, if you're going to rely on the generosity of others, you're going to have to just bear with the results sometimes. Hey man, uh, you're not going to have anything other than small, do you? Sorry, buddy. But it's good to rely on the generosity of others. Well, we hope you learned a ton from us. Step five's a really easy one. You're just going to want to make sure that you and all your stuff make it safely onto the bus and enjoy your next retreat. We hope you have a blast on the next Veritas event you go on. We're, we can't wait to spend the whole week or weekend with you. Have a great time, everybody.
still very important. That's an impressive duffel bag. I did not expect the entire guitar case to fit in. That's it's remarkable. But this is what it is. It's remarkable. It fit. It fit. So it shifts. One flat break. Yep. That's all I've got. That is all I've got. Till next time, I'm Jay. And I'm Ed. And we'll see you Mary Poppin. Illusion. Jay? I, I think I forgot.